Hey guys, I'm not Jay. Yeah! <laughs> that did not work. You did not. No. You try. If you fail. No. 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 We playing catch. <laughs> Today I'm here with another wish haul. If you guys don't know what Wish is, it's an app on your phone that is basically super, super cheap clothing and makeup, jewelry, accessories, that kind of stuff from China and they get shipped and it takes months and months and months and months to actually get here, but it is the most addictive app in the entire world and I can't stop buying things from it. It's like an obsession now at this point, so... I have a couple of things that, that my mom actually bought for me because she is a precious little baby angel unicorn and is so sweet to me, so thank you, mother. And I figured we would show them all to you today. So without further ado, let us get started. The funny thing about Wish is that everything is made really tiny. That's what I find and I'm really not tiny. I'm six feet tall, so buying clothes off of Wish is always questionable for me because you're supposed to size up from what you normally wear. So usually I wear a medium, so I should get extra larges, but, but they never come in what you order. Everything that I got is like not the size that I ordered, but they don't fit that bad. So like, is your girl mad about it? No. The best part about Wish is the names that the website decides to call what you want to buy. So, the first thing I have to show you is called a new fashion casual sexy deep v-neck button slim waist long sleeve chiffon blouse shirt top. And I don't actually know how much all of this was when I bought it, so I'm just going to tell you the price that it is now. Because I'm on my mom's phone right now because it's her account, so it's her order history, but it doesn't actually say the price that she bought it for because it's a Samsung, I have an iPhone, different app, you know? The shirt is supposed to look like this, okay? It's supposed to look like this. Can you see that? It, it's very flowy and nice on the model, right? It was $10 according to this app and $5 shipping. So it was like a $15 shirt. This is what I got. It's a really, really weird material. Like... I, I don't know. It's like a polyester blend, I guess. I got it in a size medium. I think I ordered an extra large, but it came in a medium. It's super wrinkly, but as long as I iron it, I feel like it's going to be fine. We'll see when I actually iron it, but you're not too lazy to actually iron it right now. It has a lot of, like, questionable threads coming out <laughs> all the places. It's still cute. I'm not complaining. I think this was, like, my biggest disappointment that I got. But, like, it's still wearable, so I'm not that upset about it. I'm sure it'll be fine once I trim all of the loose threads and all of that and I iron it. I think it'll be wearable, so I'm gonna say it's a success. Even though slightly questionable, still cute though. Still cute though. The next thing that I got was a... Eight colors women loose v-neck long sleeve sweater female fashion warm baggy blouse lady solid color pullover. This is what it looks like off of me. When I ordered it, I ordered it like a navyish blue. I don't think it was this color, but like it's a, still a nice color. Like I don't hate it. It's a weird knitted fabric. It's a pretty weird fabric. I'm not gonna lie. Like it, it's not a nice knitted cotton or something like that. Like it's just, it's kind of scratchy, but not scratchy. I don't know how to explain it. It also has a really weird seam down the front. Which I thought, you know, if there's going to be a seam, it would go in the back. But no, it goes down the front. But it looks pretty cute on, in my opinion. I'm definitely going to have to push up the sleeves. They're very short. But again, like, I am six feet tall, so not really complaining. It makes sense that it's not going to fit me properly. But this app says that it was $7 plus $3 shipping. It's a little less baggy than I wanted it to be, but... It covers the booty and nothing ever covers my butt. So I'm not complaining. It's a pretty thin material too, so it will be good for the fall. Probably not winter, it won't be warm enough. It says that it's a large, I think I ordered an extra large, so you know, large, extra large, kind of the same thing. The next thing that I got is called a new fashion woman blouse long sleeve office shirt casual top. It says that it was $8 plus $3 shipping. This is what it looks like off of me. It's a large. I think I ordered a large in this one. 
but it's also a really weird material. It says that it's a polyester blend on the website, but I don't I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Also, the sleeves are so skinny. It is so hard to stick my little hand in there and I'm pretty skinny with my arms like they're tiny. I feel like an extra large would have fit better, but I think this shirt I like the best on. I originally bought the shirt because I was doing all these job interviews and stuff and I don't think that you should wear leggings to a job interview, so I was going to pair it with like my black pencil skirt and I feel like it's going to be a success when I actually try it on. It's a little bit wrinkly right now, but again, it was in a package for over a month, so it's going to be wrinkly. But there's this thing called an iron, so that's exciting. I actually feel like this is the biggest success out of my Wish purchases so far. I'm definitely going to have to wear a white cami underneath it because it's puckers weird at the front, so if I just unbutton a couple buttons, I feel like it'll be okay. There are a couple loose threads, but those are easily solvable with scissors. I, I feel like this is a success. I actually really like it on, and it also covers the booty, so your girl's happy about that. Then I got another shirt, which I feel looks okay. It's not like incredible, it's not like gonna be one of my favorite shirts, but it's wearable. It is called a Woman's Lady Loose Long Sleeve Casual Blouse Shirt Tops New Fashion Blouse. The picture definitely does not look like what it looks like. The color is also very off to the picture. Definitely looks better on the model than me, but you know, it's fine. It says on this app that it was $9 plus $4 shipping. This is what it looks like off of my body. Ooh, ah, uh, so exciting. This is a medium. I think if I got one size up, it probably would have fit a little bit better. Again, like, it's wearable. It's cute. It does have a couple, you know, questionable loose threads here, but, but there's this magical thing called scissors again. It is also very wrinkly, but I think that is just this fabric. It's the same fabric as the other two blouses that I got. I feel like just having it crunched up in a package for that long, it's not gonna look good when you take it out, but again, ironing. Wow. The sleeves were very skinny again, so that was kind of weird, but it covers the booty again, so I feel like success. I'm okay with it. I like it. The next two things that I got are two necklaces. One of them, the only reason my mom bought it was because in one of the comments, it literally said, Bitch, it glows! So now it's like an inside joke that we have. We bought it because we thought the comment was funny, so now every time I wear it, I can go, Bitch, it glows! We're children, okay? But it is this necklace. It's just a little pendant. It's supposed to glow in the dark. Does it glow in the dark? No, bitch, it does not glow. It says that it is a wishing teardrop magical fairy glow in the dark steampunk pendant, which, I mean, like, it's still cute. It opens, so that's a fun thing. It says here that it was $4.25 plus $2 shipping. I'm pretty sure we got it for less or we wouldn't have bought it. But, you know, I can pretend it glows. Also, it has this really weird... I'm not a beauty guru, I'm sorry. But it has this really weird kink in it. It's kind of okay because it's at the back. But it literally... the kink does not come out. Like, it is, it is solidified as a kink. It's staying there forever. Will I ever wear this? Maybe, but it doesn't glow, so the effect is kind of lost on me, and I'm kind of upset about it, but that's okay. Maybe if I stand in a super dark closet for a very long time, it'll glow. The final necklace that I got is called a chic Y-shaped gold-plated bar circle larian style necklace, size 50 centimeters, color golden. And it says that it was $6 plus $4 shipping, which again, I don't think it was that much when I bought it, because I wouldn't have bought it if it was that much money. It's this thing. You probably can't see it. I'm not gonna focus the camera because your girl ain't no beauty guru. But basically, there's a little circle at the end. There's a little gold platey thingy at the end. You stick the gold platey thingy through the circle thingy, and then you can make it as tight as you want or as loose as you want, and the little gold thing hangs down. Pretty on. I did like it. It's cute. You basically can't feel it on your body because it is so thin, so that's a nice feature, you know, if you don't like heavy necklaces like me. I'm gonna wear this a lot, I feel, so good purchase on my part, I think. Alright guys, so that was my little wish haul. There will probably be plenty more on this channel because I can't stop purchasing things. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!